Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. Meeting with the participation of the delegation of the National Council of Western Armenia at WIPO. Bayaramov does not recall the massacres of Sumgay at the annihilation of Maraga. It turns out that all the previous concessions are useless. We have to make compromises again. Galen Vartanisyan. The Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of India was hosted in the Museum G Institute of Genocide Against Armenians. Department of Armenian Studies will be opened at Lomonosov Moscow State University. Be careful, there are Armenians hiding among you. I go Baghdad. Shooter Elmira Karabetyan participated in the Olympic Games in Flame Relay. On 11 July 2024, a meeting was held at WIPO with the participation of indigenous organizations where Western Armenia was represented by President Armenia Gabrahamian and Delegate Vartan Simonian. The meeting under the Director General of WIPO was related to the world's main intellectual property protection organization and Western Armenia. The purpose of the meeting was to allow everyone to express themselves after the signing of the agreement last month and to dispel doubts if possible. President Armenia Gabrahamian raised three questions. We present it below. First, as for the owners of genetic resources, we have the impression that Article 26 of the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples has not been taken into account. The second, regarding Article 4, the contracting parties shall not impose the obligations of this agreement. Related to patent applications, which are presented before this agreement enter into force with respect to that party without prejudice to the provisions of existing national legislation are applied to those patent applications. Would it be possible to allow signatory state to adapt previous patents to the provisions and requirements of the new treaty? Will it be possible to allow the state that signed the treaty to adapt the previous patent to the terms and requirements of the new contract? That's for it. The fact that the territory may be occupied or that the de jure sovereignty of the territory is contested or disputed has been taken into account. Thus, any patent before or after the entry into force of the treaty relating to occupied or disputed territory will be considered as an illegal patent. The WIPO Director General's answer was very short. WIPO's role is not to intervene in the political conflicts. Please apply to the appropriate state. Baku Foreign Minister Ajay Hun Bayaramov met with Troy Dulay, head of mission of the International Organization for Migration, during which the prospects of cooperation were discussed between Baku and the International Organization for Migration. Bayaramov also referred to the issue of refugees and internally displaced persons as a result of the Armenian-Azerbaijan conflict. However, in this case, Baku against the country's foreign minister shows a strict selective approach. He has forgotten the fact that only months ago the Armenians from Artsakh were subjected to forced displacement placement by their military political vandalism after the humanitarian disaster and the war accompanied by the targeting of the civilian population. The Pan-Armenian Union government chairman Nahid Yavan warns about this. They note that the foreign minister also forget that in 2020, according to the November 9 agreement, Baku has undertook to ensure the return of all refugees and internally displaced persons to their former places of residence, which indirectly also means 2020. After the 44-day war, the safe and secure return of forcible displaced Armenians from the territories that came under the control of Baku while that point of the agreement was implemented unliterally. Setting Artsakh with Azerbaijan is changing the natural and thousand-year-old ethnic composition of the territory. They emphasized that Bayramov seemed to be unable to remember what kind of massacres the Armenians of Sumgayet were subjected to 46 years ago, what happened to the Armenians of Baku 44 years ago, and what the barbarism carried out to the inhabitants of Maraga 32 years ago. And the head of the mission of the International Organization for Migration in Baku seems to have difficulties to understand clearly that his interlocutor is one of the gang which are responsible for the crimes committed in 2020 and 2023 against the Armenians of Armenia and Armenians of Nagorno-Karabakh. The government's chairman, Nakhijevon Pan-Armenian Union, urged the International Organization for Migration to be vigilant about the activities of its representatives, giving worthy and impartial evaluation towards the political processes that led to the emergence of refugee and forcibly displayed phenomena. 
Gallian Bertanesian an expert on military affairs made a note referring to the statement of Miller, the spokesperson of the U.S. State Department. Let's remember, Miller mentioned about the elect Armenian-Azerbaijan agreement that the agreement is possible but it really requires both sides to make some difficult choices and difficult trade offers. This means that all the unilateral concessions made until now and again and a new phase of difficult choices and difficult compromises must be started in which no guarantee of peace will be given again. Naturally, the so-called compromise is only about Armenia, wrote Karen Vartanesian. Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of India to Eastern Armenia, Nidlakshi Saha Sinha, was hosted at the Museum Institute of the Genocide Against Armenians. The ambassador was accompanied to the exhibition hall and presented the temporary exhibition entitled Armenian Women, Genocide Victim and Hero. Through the demonstration, the ambassador got acquainted with the daily life of Armenian women in Western Armenia and other Armenian populated region of the Ottoman Empire, beautiful handicrafts, used jewelry, costumes of different regions. Then through women's stories, the ambassador was presented the violence and trial during the genocide against Armenians. The ambassador regretted that all those stories presented in the museum are not just stories, but historical facts and similar crimes that are taking place in different corners of the world. An Armenian language direction and Department of Armenian Studies will be opened at the Department of Central Asian and Caucasian Countries of the Institute of Asian and African Countries of Lomonoso Moscow State University. This was started by a press service of the Armenian Diocese of Russia and New Nakhijevan at the university. They will study the Armenian language, including Grampar, the history and culture of the Armenian people, as well as develop cooperation with the universities of Eastern Armenia and the Armenian Studies centers of other countries. The work will start from September 2024 and will contribute to the development and the strengthening of the relation between the Armenian and Russian peoples. An intellectual from Yemen who was forced to leave the country where he was born and grew up and has been living in Germany since 2016 wrote an article about Armenians, Greeks and Jews who had to hide their nationality. The article is as follows. How many Armenians were there in the country? How many were killed? How many were forcibly transferred into another identity? How many Armenians are there in Turkey who hide their past identity and continue their lives as Muslim. Alevis Kurds, why did Armenians in Turkey have to give up their Armenian identity? If the woman in the image of Abdullah Gul's mother was actually Armenian, who forced that woman to experience this cruelty? How did these Armenians become a prominent family in Islamic tradition? Why are mothers and grandmothers always Armenians? Why are none of the fathers and grandfathers Armenians? And did the Turkish state do to Armenian women what ISIS did to use these women? Does the Turkish state know who the Armenians were in the past? Are these records available somewhere? Is this information used when the time comes? If being an Armenian was such a big crime in the past, what significance do, do those who are still Armenians have for Turkey today? Yusuf Halakoglu, who served as the president of the Historical Society of Turkey, gave an interesting index in an article he wrote in 2010. I gave a speech at the Afshalar Symposium in Kayseri. In this speech, I spoke about converted Armenians who pretended to be Kurds or even Kurdish Alevis. The ground shook and there were no words and insults left unsaid, including my skull Gary. The issue was presented and distorted in such a way that I was subjected to an extrajudicial death sentence. I, as a scientist, explained where they are with the documents. Everything I said then was based on Armenian archival documents and there was even information about names and villages. My determination is that today there are at least 500,000 such kind of Armenians. At that time, Halakoglu said that there are 500,000 underground Armenians and that it was these Armenians who founded and led the terrorist organization in the country. Remember, the Armenian Olympic team shooter Almira Karapetian participated in the flame relay of the Olympic Games in the flame relay. She ran with the torch of Paris 2024 in the Villers country and community in the Hauts de Seine region in northern France. I cannot convey these emotions in words. Everything was amazingly organized, super professional. I am very impressed, Karapetian told our members. According to her, the Republic of Armenia Embassy in France had its direct participation in the organizational matters and helped Karapetian to become a part of the relays race, which is an important part of the Olympiad. This was all for today. Goodbye.